We want to get to your feed at five now. As the cases of COVID-19 climb, so does the anxiety among local business owners. Fears of another shutdown are growing. Governor Mike DeWine specifically mentioned restaurants, bars, and gyms. Last one's 10. Functions of Life Fitness and Performance owner Mike Soster says a second closure could set his business back years, and he's not sure he'd comply again. If there is a way that we can stay open in some capacity, we're going to do that. Market Garden Brewery Sam McNulty says it would be the end for a lot of restaurants, bars, and breweries across the state. Even the early cutoff for alcohol sales, he says, is doing more harm than good. Um, we're doing all the COVID protocols perfectly. Then at 10 p.m. when, when everybody says, you know, no more alcohol is allowed to be sold, go home, the party just continues on in someone's house where all the protocols are ignored. Safety protocols are followed at Barlu Shoes, says owner Daniel Unger. The revised mask order, making retailers responsible for ensuring everyone wears masks or face possible closure, is something the store has already been doing. We've become used to it, if you will. Crazy as that sounds, and I suppose on one hand, as sad as that sounds, we're, we're almost numb or used to it at this point. A shutdown, we believe, is not the answer. And I'm hoping and praying that it, that it doesn't happen. Uh, but of course, we're all at the mercy of the virus. The unity right now is, is really important um, across the board. And so the governor is going to take a week to evaluate whether to close bars, restaurants, and gyms. A new retail compliance unit was formed to make sure that businesses are following these mask orders. The first offense, Jay, of course, is a warning. The second could close a store for up to 24 hours. Yeah, obviously a lot of folks will be looking at the data very closely over the next week because, Tiffany, that's when the governor will be making his decision about restaurants and bars and even, as you mentioned, the fitness clubs. We saw what happened from an economic standpoint after the closures in March and April. And I know from speaking to a number of restaurant owners, they can't take another round of closures. So you'd have to think that if this order comes, it's going to hit that industry even more hard than it has already been hit.